And we're live. Welcome, welcome to Monday night, first day of the year. Happy New Year, everybody who is watching with me. So my name is Elisa, uh, Graceful Beauty, as I like to call it, or hashtag Brow Up Beauty. And I'm a presenter with Unique. Uh, every Monday and Wednesday, I'm going to be going live at 9 p.m. Eastern time to demonstrate uh, a new skill, uh, a new product, or a new look chosen by you guys. So if you have a look or a product or a skill that you really want to know more about, pop it below, okay? Pop it down below and I'll add you to the list. Um, so I want to know who is with me, who is here tonight to learn all about brows, okay? So if you're watching and you come on, uh, just pop it down below. What city are you from? What country are you from? I want to know who's out there in the land tonight, Monday night, New Year's Day, watching with me. And um, if you're watching later on and you're not live, then just put a little hashtag replay and then I'll be able to figure, find out who you are then. Okay, and hey, if you are brand new with us, then hashtag newbie down below. And yeah, come on on and join the wonderful world of graceful beauty. So let's get started, shall we? Browse, people browse. As you can see, I don't have a lot to work with. Um, and it has kind of been like my main thing pretty much my whole life. I call myself brow girl or brow, hashtag brow beauty. Okay, because... Um, yeah, we, we struggle with it, right? Having that perfect brow. So I'm here to tell you that I basically found the golden grail, the perfect brow helper, the perfect brow products. I have been searching for years and I've tried, believe me, just all, all, basically everything out there. And so I'm really excited to say that I have finally found it. I don't need to look any further. I don't need to look at any other cosmetic procedures like brow, uh, microblading or anything like that. I am very, very overjoyed, happy with what I have found. And I'm here to tell you, uh, show you how to do it because that's pretty much my number one question is how do you get those power, powerhouse brows? <laughs> so here you go. This is what I use right here, these three little tools. First thing first I use is the brow liner pencil. Because, uh, everything I'm showing you, by the way, is from Munich and they come in three colors. I like to use the color medium because I change up my hair a lot. <laughs> From light to dark and so if I get the medium then I know I can play around with shading to go somewhere in between so the very first thing we're taking a look at here is the brow pencil brow liner pencil this has two ends to it and the one end is a little comb okay a little wire comb and the second end is the magic pencil <laughs> okay it is a scroll up and or a scroll down so it's nice to know exactly how much you've got and how much you have left and if you scroll up too far, that's okay. As you can see, it's a really, really fine, tiny little pencil. And this is what makes it super precise. Everything little, everything you draw on, it looks like hair. And that's what makes it look so nice and natural. So here we go. I use this as the line outlining, okay? Outlining. Now, if you have trouble with your outlining, Go ahead and grab yourself an awesome stencil. Unique has five different ones to choose from so you can play around and find out what is your perfect shape. But basically you wanna go with pretty much what you have. Everybody's brows is gonna be a little bit thicker in the center and then go thinner out. Now, if you go right to the center, it's gonna be really thin and that's where you have to basically kind of play around with the tools to know how to make that proper shape. Now. A lot of different trends have come and go, the kind where it was really thick at the front and then like a line of the rest. That's not very natural. And then uh, other um, ones have been complete like up and down, whole point again. Unless you want to walk around looking surprised all the time, it's a little crazy. One of the most natural looks is having a curve underneath and then a slight hiccup, if you will, a little pickup in the middle. Okay, that is one of the most natural looks, especially depending on your eye shape. But you, generally, we kind of want to have, um, you know, that longer face. You want to follow the natural curvature of your face that you have. And that's why we have a nice underline here following the curves of your eye. And then you want to have it kind of pick up a bit, especially if you have um, hooded eyes like I do. And this kind of just draws, elongates the eye out. Okay, so what we're going to do here is 
like I said, I've been doing this for years, so I don't use a stencil anymore. But I'm going to start basically where my first bra brows already naturally are, but they go really down in. And so I'm going to start just a slightly abo above them to give it a little bit more of a thicker point. It's not a harsh um, square, but there's a little bit there. So this takes some practice. And what I've done for a lot of my clients is I've actually, they've sent me a picture of themselves. And then what I do is I actually, on, on the picture, draw on the picture a, ge a generalized outline of what um, a, a good brow shape for they, them would be. Because it is going to be a little different for each person. So now you're wondering, well, how on earth do you know how far to go up? How do you know how to, when to stop? It's actually really easy. So first things first, take your pencil. That's why it's so nice to have a pencil or a brush, whatever you're using. Take the tip of your nose and the center of your eye and then go up. And that is where the tip of your eyeliner, of your eyebrow should be. Whether it is a rounded part or it's a pointed part, right, at the t right through the center of your eye and at the tip, that is where you know you should have the highest part of your brow. Same thing goes for where to end tip of your nose, tip of your eye, eye, and there. As you're following the nat natural curvature of your eyebrow down, stop when you get to the tip of your nose, corner of your eye, and out. So this one I can go out a little bit longer. And that's why it's so nice to have this pencil, because as you can see, it already looks really natural. So now I've basically just done the top line. I'm just kind of thickening it or... Um, making defining it a little bit more going back to the center i'm going to take tiny little brush strokes because i can do that with this awesome brow liner and i'm going to kind of go down but not too far okay because remember you can always easily add on more and then i'm just going to start following that natural curvature of what is underneath because everyone has um you almost everybody has a somewhat natural curvature going on and so it's just a matter of how much you have to fill in or add to it okay so here it's going a little too thin so I'm just gonna bring it down a little bit more like I said if you send me your picture then I can draw on your picture to show you how to do um, a fairly good brow line for yourself or just grab yourself some stencils so there we go and basically have a nice little shape and this is where I would go I already done the one but this is where I would go and kind of even it out okay a lot of people say um, you know oh they're twins so I'm just gonna darken this a little bit more over here because I can do that because I found that this one got a little thicker they're twins right no my goodness they're not twins <laughs> want to keep them somewhat even but goodness they are not twins mine are more like complete distant cousins okay like they just they don't they hardly get along I have to like you know smack them into a shape so this little brush helps big time because first of all it smooths those little hairs back in place to help like that and then that's why I love this pencil because my two brows are so different but when I get to draw it on and fill in whatever's missing then I get to fool you guys and everyone else thinking wow they look totally even when really no they're not I just kind of draw and place it on okay so first thing's awesome this little baby is the bomb okay <laughs> so bomb.com it, it comes in light medium and dark i'm using the color medium okay so here we go now we're going to the brow palette brow palette don't be scared this thing's amazing it's actually so super easy you want to be using the brow liner brush artist brush when you use this palette why because look at that precision people do you see how thin that is it's like paper thin double edge so you get two brushes in once super super edge that's what you want when you're using anything on your eyebrows I don't care what you're doing if you're doing a liner if you're doing filling in you want precision everyone asks how do you get those powerhouse brows precision 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 okay and then product product the best awesome product you look carefully I know it's hard to see here but you'll see the numbers one two three four five they make it foolproof for you so you don't even have to be like what do I do so again this is the medium these are the two colors that change with depending on the color of a palette you get if you get a meat a blonde palette then those two colors will be just lighter a dark palette those two colors will be darker okay these are highlighters again 
Here we go. Tilt it a bit so you can see that this one is a light, light pink, and this is more of a champagne. Hi, Megan. Welcome. Where are you joining us from? I'm glad you could be with us tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and take the angled side because remember, angle, the nice angle one is more like the shape of an actual hair, right? You can put it on. So I'm going to start with the lighter one. I always recommend you start with the lighter because then you can shade it with the darker one. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in. Okay, I use my palette for filling in. I fill it in with upward strokes. Barry, Ontario. Ooh, Barry, it's cold out there. I mean, it's cold down here where I am too, but goodness, you guys get, you guys get even more snow. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's see. Megan, were you up late last night? Did you do the whole like stay up till midnight and bring in the new year or did you crash early? and go to bed and just like wake up and it was like a brand new year. <laughs> I had plans to do that, to just go to bed early and then, well, I end up staying up. <laughs> so I rang in the new year with my husband and then my baby's asleep because that's the life of parents with young children, right? We stay, we stay home. <laughs> okay, so if you guys have seen, I've used the angled one and I've, what I've done here is I've, I've just, on the lighter one here, tiny little bit, and I fill it in going upward kind of strokes all with my angled side of my artist brush. And then when I get to my peak, I fill it in going downward strokes. Okay. So I could just stop there, but believe me, there's more, there's so much more to this beautiful palette and it's so easy. So I'm going to keep showing you here. You stayed up late. Yeah. How late did you stay up? And then the next question is how early did you get up or how late did you sleep? <laughs> right? It always seems to go hand in hand. So I'm going to keep going and I'm going to show you guys, we're going to take just a tiny bit of the dark. My hair is pretty blonde right now. Um, so I'm going to use a ton of the dark and that's the awesome thing about this is that you can shade it. Now when you're using the dark for shading, you want to start from the tip and down because naturally you're going to be lighter in the center and darker on the side. So you're starting at the tip and you're not using a lot. Okay. This stuff is highly pigmented. You don't need much. And again, just using it, it's such a nice, precise, awesome little thin brush that you can just use tiny little strokes and again, just fill it in tiny little bit and it gives a nice shading effect on your eyebrow and it looks so much more natural. Anytime you can use shading anywhere on your face, it's going to look more natural. One color will always look flat, always. A little extra tip for you. Stayed up until about three. Wow. And you woke up at seven. You are brave, girl. I even have young kids and I didn't do that. My kids, God bless them. Best New Year's present ever. They slept in. I don't know how. It's like magic power out there. But they, be pay they paid me back later today. <laughs> it was awesome. Scared to dream on my brows. <laughs> dream on dream on your brows. Scared to dream on your brows? Why are you scared to dream on your brows? Girl, it is, it is wonderful. When you have precision pencil, precision tools, it can work. Okay. That's why I'm here. I can want to help you. I'm going to show you how to do it. So now I want to show you how to be not scared of the highlighting because this is one of the best tools. Okay. You're going to switch, draw on your brows. Oh, I hear you. Draw on. Well, you know, <laughs> laughing at when you are drawing on your brows, that old, the old way, right, was to take just a regular like eyeliner pencil and draw on your brows. Yeah, that didn't look good. First of all, it's a pencil that is not meant for your brows. It's thick, so the little strokes are going to look really thick, and they are just, you know, it was not the right coloring. It didn't have any powderness to it. It, it just, it wasn't the right products. And believe me, I was there. I tried them. I did not have pretty brows growing up. Ooh, can we just say 80s, 90s? Ah, <laughs> not much good was there. But that's why I'm saying I'm so excited because I've been searching and I found the Holy Grail and it's called Precision and it's called Unique and it's so amazing. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to switch over now. Same brush, same artist brush, same awesome precision, but this is the nice flat edge. Okay, flat edge here. And we are going to take the pink first. Do you have to use both? No. If you, do you have to use either of them? No, but it totally makes a difference. So I'm going to show you how to use both because that's basically what I do all the time. Think of the pink one as, um, what did I want to say? Oh, yeah. Think of the pink one as almost like a concealer. Okay. Like it's, it's basically like your skin tone. It's a really, really pale pink. You don't need much. And what you're going to do is you're going to outline the 
underneath of your brow, okay? Not touching your brows, but base like almost. And I just kind of work my way in and I draw this tiny little line and then from that line, I blend it down. Okay, you're blending it down. Why? Because this adds a bit of brightness to the underneath of your brow, onto your brow bone, adding, basically highlighting. And you're going to um, clean up any of the edge that maybe you messed up a little bit with the brow product. Okay, so that's awesome. Nice, easy way to clean up the edge. But then also, you're just, again, your brow bone naturally is more forward than your eyebrow itself and is more forward than the crease of your eye. And so this is where the light naturally is going to hit, right? And so any of the light, even the light I'm using right now, is now going to bounce off more easily, giving you just a nice defined brow and this just, nat just kind of this glow, natural glow, glow without being shimmery. Okay, without sparkle. You don't want to sparkle on here. You want a nice just highlight. Okay, so that's what this pink, the pink one is a matte. The pink is matte. This one here, I call it champagne color. Think of it as highlighting, like a luminizer. It's a very, very soft shimmer, not sparkle. Okay, oops, dropping my brush here. Same, same end, same end, flat end. Okay, soft, soft. Again, these products, by the way, they're almost creamy, okay? Almost creamy. It's, it's powder, but it's cr almost creamy. It's meant for your eyebrows. Another reason why it works so well. How well does it work? I'm just going to put this right over top of where I put the pink, okay? And again, it's just adding just a little bit of highlight luminizer. And so it just bounces off, giving you a nice definition of brow, brow eyebrow to a brighter to then darker where your crease is and then lighter on your lid and then darker with a nice eyeliner, okay? That's generally how it is. You break up the pieces and the more defined you can make them, the better and more natural you're playing with your lighting. Hey Candace, welcome. I'm glad you can join me tonight, okay? Now, a couple things I should mention here. When you're using these things, thanks Megan. Um, when you're using these products, I highly recommend you do your brows before you do any eye makeup. I did my eye makeup really simple tonight. I literally used bronzer, okay? I did just a bit of bronzer on my face and I took my bronzer and I put it in the crease of my lid. That's how simple it was. <laughs> now I did a little bit of cream shadow on my eye just for a little bit of extra sparkle there. But why do I say to do your brows before you do your um, eye makeup? Because as you're doing the highlighting and you're blending it down, down, okay, you're pulling it down. Well, now you're going to have a more defined line, which we don't want, of highlight and eyeshadow. But if you do this first, you blend down the highlight, and then when you, as you're blending out your eyeshadow, it's just going to nice blend over top beautifully without having a line of highlighter, and then boom, eyeshadow starting, okay? So I always do my eyebrows first. I do my whole face, and then I do my eyebrows, and then I go and do the rest of my eyes, okay? So this stuff is awesome. It's all about precision. It lasts super long time, and how long? Here's a little trick, here's, here's a tip, here's an amazing thing. I like saunas, okay? Specifically like Korean spa saunas. <laughs> and sometimes there are steam saunas there. Oh, so nice. And I thought, honestly, I was a little, I was a little concerned. I thought, oh, what are we going to do? I have to bring my makeup with me because I was on my anniversary, okay? Like people, you want to be looking pretty after, right? But I was going straight to supper and I thought, okay, careful, careful, but I'm going into steam sauna. My makeup is done. I came out and it was flawless. It was flawless. I posted about it. It was amazing. People were like, what? I'm like, I didn't touch up, I swear. But that's when you happens, when you have good makeup, is you can sweat, and as long as you're not like going with a towel, ah, wipe it off, right? If you want it to stay, it will stay. I was wiping my face, you know, I was dabbing it, I was sweating away, but it stays, and that's what and you know when you have precision awesome quality products, okay? So here's the last couple of little things to help you. 
Um, hey, Millie. Good morning. Good evening. Good morning. Good evening. What day I miss it? Is how do you make it stay even longer like that? Okay, so like on the normal day, I wouldn't necessarily say it's going to like stay super long like that. Um, it's going to st it's going to stay long. It's going to stay long. But how do you make sure it's going to stay through a steam sauna? Well, I actually when I'm putting primer is a very step. When I put primer all over my face, I actually end up putting I like what, as I'm you know tapping, rubbing it into my face, smoothing it in. I put some on my brows, and after it's set. Mm -mm, Mm -mm. after it's set problem number one don't use primer problem number two don't wait on long enough okay after it's set then I do my brows and that's it just it holds it on there and it's not gonna come off not gonna come off it's wonderful so that you can go to the steam sauna and you're good to go <laughs> okay Another amazing, these are little extra tricks for you guys because I showed you how to do my brows and if you missed it, if you're on the hashtag, if you're on hashtag replay, um, pop it down below, then go back and you can see me how I did it. But another thing is I've seriously been amazed is because you saw I don't have much brow to work with, but I actually have now a little bit more than I did say even a month ago. Amazing trick. Okay. It's actually really easy. Does everyone need to do this? No, because some people have really full brows and you need to do maybe a little bit of plucking just to take out a few of the extra spots. But for me, I had like almost no brows at all. And so I've been using the lash serum that's for your lashes, right? But it's hair. It stimulates hair growth. That's what it does. It strengthens, it goes in and it stimulates and makes, promotes hair growth. So any places you're bald of lashes or even on your eyebrow, it actually stimulates them and now I've got brow lashes, I mean brow, brow, brow hairs where I had none before. I'm serious, it's incredible. So now I'm having to actually pluck more in a few places where I never had to pluck before. It's hilarious. So I'm excited because for the first time in my life, I'm getting like thicker, natural, fuller brows just from using like natural things that my own brows are happening. And then I use my amazing precision products to fill in the rest and to have beautiful brows. Hashtag beautiful uh, brow, brow, brow beauty, brow beauty, you know, pinup beauties. Hmm, I'm a brow beauty. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, that's basically how I do my brows. It's just precision and it's products and then some patience and then, you know, like some practice. P, 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 precision, practice, patience. <laughs> And if you want some help, then please uh, message, pop a message, post it down below. I would glad to help you out, draw, draw on your picture, how, so, how it could possibly work. Um, if you want information more about these, ordering these specific products, then you can click my link above or again, message me and we're good. I can help you out with that. And um, otherwise, stay tuned for Wednesday night when I'll be sharing more. And if you have a product or a look or a style that you are more interested about knowing, pop that down below and I'll add it to the list of all the mix of things that I'm going to be sharing about every Monday night and Wednesday night at 9 o'clock. And I guess that's it for me tonight. So happy new year and brow it up, girls. Bye.